welcome back everybody welcome if you are new today we're at eldora in the world of outlaw super late models ran a decent time here in practice hopefully we can back that up in qualifying there are i think 20 cars here we got logan herber in here hauser elkins jd brown a lot of really fast guys like normal gavin wasn't able to make it with us this week i think this is a single split as well and we're card 10 out of it so i think two people are going home from the consolation and I'm just hoping we make it nice and easy through the heat. That'd be great. We need to get a good qualifying lap here, though. Try to run right on the outside. Oh, I got the wall. That's not going to be any good. Let's reset and get a fresh car to run that. That was not good at all. I didn't want the uh, messed up right rear for the lap. I'm going to run lower in one and two for our second lap. I wanted to try to risk it first lap, be a little quicker. But we need to get a clean lap in here for lap number two. I'm gonna run just under the slick, which is gonna be a little slower, I believe. Try to keep it as straight as we can there. It's definitely gonna be a little slower. We hit the wall after the lap. Oh no, our lap didn't count, fuck. I hit the tail end just after the start finish line right about where was it I literally tapped the back end just on the wall just barely after the line and it didn't count our lap so that's gonna hurt we're gonna start super deep in our heat race now so we're gonna have to make up some spots here and hopefully we can come from the back and uh, make the feature All right, we are starting in dead last for heat number one. So we qualified like the odd position of the last two because I think me and the 12 car didn't get down laps and I was a higher car number. So we got the heat number one row, but outside's going to be quick. We just have to stay off the wall, not hit it. And I think we can gain some positions. I, the top seven make it to the feature. I feel like we can get there. We just have to be nice and smooth on our lap. We could have qualified like mid pack. I feel like pretty easy. They ran like fours, fives around like 10th and stuff. So I feel like we could have uh, hit that at least. But now we got to go from the back in the heat race. It's going to be quite interesting. Usually I at least get down one lap and qualifying and start not dead last. So this is going to be rough for sure, especially with being car 10. We need to make moves here. Because I really don't want to be in that consolation race. Because I don't want anything potentially to happen. Or like some fast he will get wrecked out in the second heat. And there's a bunch of quick guys in there. Or even someone gets wrecked out here that's up front. Everybody's going to accordion up a little. We actually had a pretty good jump. Already up to 8th. I'm going to try to run the middle while other guys are stacked up up there. 16 blinking a little bit at Spencer. We know Spencer. 17.4. See if we can try to cross over these guys, get low or something. He's blinking a little bit, so it's terrifying. I don't want to wreck him. Try to get low on him, even though he's already running pretty low. I didn't, I thought he was going to take the high side there. That was a terrible corner by me. We're in eighth. We need one spot. His blinking is so terrifying though. Five to go. We need to make some moves. Oh, he almost got spun. They both almost got spun there. That was close. The one in the night in the 24 that was up there. Oh geez. Oh geez, they're wrecking. Oh geez. Okay, we got by that somehow. I don't know how, but I will take it. We need to try to get this guy's outside or something. I feel like we are a little quicker than them. Very bottom and one and two is just not fast ever. 
Oh, he got the wall though. That's gonna give us an opening. Take it there in three and four. He's gonna throw a slider, that's fine. We have speed from one and two. We're able to run that low side. He's gonna try to cross, but we are gonna finish up in sixth. All right, I'll take that. Whew. That was nerve wracking because we started so deep there. But that means we'll start, I think 11th in the feature race. So I'm happy about that. We missed all the carnage there in that race, which was terrifying. What was it, a few laps ago with these guys? They got together a little bit. It almost spun the one. Then he was blinking, got hit in the right rear and got up in the wall. They almost wrecked. It was super tight. The 20 car behind me was really close. And then we just had a pretty good battle here until the end. I was trying to find some way to get around him. I was trying to get to his outside. Then I dived to the inside because I had a pretty good run here off of three and four. Bottom's not ever that quick in one and two though, which is the hard part, but he did get the wall here on the back stretch, which really helped us out right there. He went really high because of it, so I was able to get a little bit of that grip and shoot down the track. Able to clear him as well. He throws a good cross he throws a good slider there. I just cross him right back over. And then we kind of just run low, slide up a little bit, because he tries to run low right behind us to get a good run. I get a little too sideways there on the exit, but we end up holding on the six, which is awesome. So let's get on to heat number two. Who is in this? We got Hauser, Kim Jones, Herbert. We're going to watch on Herbert here. Talk to him in Gavin's discord so we know him a little bit. Hopefully he can have a good run here. He's starting on the bottom, which is where we'll be starting in the feature race. But we're going to be like mid pack, a little bit past mid pack, I think, because there will be 18 in the feature. We're starting 11, so a little past it, like a row past. So hopefully we could run decent and just make up some spots in the feature. Try to finish top 10 with our car number being top 10 or being 10. That would be nice because I don't know what the strength of field is. I feel like it's very top heavy because we're at like 3,900 I rating right now. I'm really trying to hit 4K again, I'm trying to get back there. It's getting really uh, close for us. I've been doing some extra racing over the weekend, trying to see how we could do and been doing pretty well in some races. So I'm happy about that. Logan tried to get a jump there. He got a pretty good jump to the inside of Hauser. Durgan is going low. So they're three wide through one and two here. Durgan got a lot better run than I expected all the way at the bottom there. Super tight three wide and a little bit of net code sent the 46 up right, Logan, got on that. They're three wide. I don't know if Durgan realizes that they're through wide because he was saying, you know, there's a car low or something. <laughs> I think uh, he's thinking to, talking to a different Logan, but they're three wide. They're just running super tight. Nothing that Herbert can really do here much. He's doing the best he can trying to slide up on the 46. Not quite able to make it clear. Really tight battle here for second. He was going to slide up in three and four. 46 wanted to keep that outside lane really close battle though that's crazy i'm shocked that uh, neither one of them have wrecked i thought the 46 would have gotten right rear with how close they're running going real low here trying to slide up goes up to the middle 46 stays way outside gets a huge jump down the front stretch logan trying to slide up there getting up behind him getting single file there that's probably all she wrote for them really they got on lap five, so that's what? Fourth place, fifth, sixth, seventh. This is the transfer spot back here. Throwing a slider back here. 97 is in the 31. 97 real sideways off the exit. They still have coming up the two laps left. Really low in three and four. 50, 97, I mean, is going to get a run back here a little bit on the back on the front stretch. I am mixing up my corner so bad right now. But the 33 is getting by him on the low side. He's running really hard on that high side, trying to make it work. He seems to be getting a little loose sideways at the right rear, kicking out and hitting the wall a little too much. But that 31 is just getting away. Final lap here. We'll see if anything can happen. All up in the wall, the 97 is. That gets the chances done for him. Who is that? Herbert, what the hell happened? And now he's going to be out going into the consolation. What just happened on the final lap? Oh my goodness. Durgan ended up getting what even happened. I need to go back and see what happened there. He was in 
fourth. Durgan got around him there. He got in the wall in the TJ car. I don't even know who that is. I'm assuming it's somebody named TJ. I don't even know. Was it Triton or Matt? I think it was Matt. No, it was Triton. That makes sense with TJ, I guess. Maybe Jay's his middle name. I'm not sure, but I tried to give you room that so is okay. super wall. unfortunate I mean, uh, down, for maybe. Logan. He's going to have to go through the Constellation. He'll make it no problem, I imagine, here in the Constellation. He's starting second. He should beat out the rest of these guys, I imagine. The 17, 19, 18, 16, 20, a lot of the lower numbers. And Herbert just kind of uh, ended up in the wall, and the other guy ran straight in the back, which is unfortunate for him. So I'm going to skip the Constellation for you guys. Only two guys are going home. And uh, we'll, I'll, we'll see what, who goes home when we're about to start the feature. Well, that was quite an interesting uh, finish they had. They literally were three wide across the line, which is crazy. Logan ended up barely squeaking it out the line right there. So that's a pretty good uh, consolation finish. That's pretty damn cool. But we are starting back in 11th here in the feature race. Hopefully we can do pretty well. <laughs> Hopefully we can gain some spots. It's going to be tough, though. Starting on the bottom side is not necessarily where you want to be for the feature here because it's going to be right up on that wall. I might be just under the slick depending on how wide it's gotten in one and two. Three and four, I'm just going to try to find where some grip is because I'm not the best at running right along the wall. So hopefully uh, we don't screw up the back end too much hitting it because it's going to be very tough. But with everybody jumbled up in the beginning, I'm hoping we can miss... Like some guys getting in the wall and running each other over. Being on the bottom side at least. That's what I'm hoping for. But there's a lot of quick people up here. So just see what do it what we can. Do the best we can at least. I'd like to be able to finish top 10 here with being car number 10. That would be nice. There's still a decent bit of grip all the way at the bottom in 3 and 4 here. It's probably not super fast. But just good to know. The middle is probably going to be the quickest, like, upper middle. Where that grip is, I would say. One and two looks pretty slicked off. That sucks, because it's going to be right along the wall, most likely. The fastest. You can make, like, the middle work slightly slide up to the under the slick. Like, just up to under the slick, I would imagine. But the very wall is probably going to be the quickest thing in one and two. Three and four, I think there's some options you could mess with. But just do the best we can here. Try to stay out of some wrecks. Because everybody's going to be right on top of each other. Not a bad start for us. I'll take it. Got one guy to our outside. I'm going to run the bottom. Might as well just go all the way down here. Oh, got on the throttle way too much there. Oh, this guy's running that under the slick line. Not what I was expecting there. Thought he might go higher. And we get a caution. So we are in 10th now. We're going to be on the outside for the next restart. The wreck was somewhere behind us. I don't know who was in it. There's a few people Thanks out there. Thanks to whoever really slammed me in the ass on the start. Greatly appreciate the 2X. <laughs> But uh, so far, we kept the car clean. Yeah, no problem. And uh, hopefully, we can keep trying to move forward here, being on the outside for this restart. All right. Being in 10th on the outside, we're probably going to have to rip the wall in one and two. Do the best that we can up here. Don't know who got to the lead there. Seven car Brayson still in the lead. It's an interesting name. Brayson, not Bryson. Or Brayson with an E, I guess. I don't know. Never seen that name, though. It's definitely an interesting first name. But hopefully we can get another good start here. That was pretty decent, I'd say. Nothing crazy. Oh, I'm all over the place. Let's try to not... Why did my car push so far right? It was like somebody was getting into me, but nobody was. That was odd. That felt so weird. And also, I'm like so framey right now. What the hell is going on? Like, my frames are alright, but it looks crazy to me. It's really screwing me up, screwing with my, like, eyesight in this. Try to slide up here. 
Oh, they're route wrecking. They save it. Try to get the outside roll in the best we can. Man, I don't know what it is. It's got to be like all the dust or something that is making it look so framey to me. I don't like it. Definitely need to look at upgrading my PC though. For sure. Oh, I'm way too sideways on entrance. I'm not going in high enough is my problem. I'm going in low in the slick there. Yo, man, I've kept on it. That was a pretty good three and four. There we go. That's where we need to go into the corner at. Way the hell up there. And just be real light on throttle. Probably have a little bit of right rear damage from earlier. Try to mitigate the rest of the race, though, on damage. But we're making moves on this outside now. Like, just high in both corners. We're making it work. Thought that 13 was coming up. That was scaring me a lot. So focused trying to run this outside. Oh, I'm getting all loose. I got Spencer behind me. My bad. I think we're three wide. Oh, I thought I was going to get the wall there off turn two. I'm going to get it going into three, though. Really? I get a 2x for that? I barely tapped the thing. We're running decent up top in the corners. I just need to keep it straighter down the straightaways. Oh, man, we get a caution. Oh. Hey, oh, you over there. Uh, got better looking. 17 didn't uh, check up there, there, there at all. Gonna have to come around what? What? Huh? I don't know what uh, who got spun there. I was just seeing a car sideways. That was terrifying looking. <laughs> but uh, my eyes hurt from trying to concentrate so hard on that. Luckily, I don't think we got really any damage from that. We just got spun out. Luckily, it was after the car was spun out. And uh, we didn't get any extra damage running into a car or anything. So I think the car is all right. We just need to keep doing what we're doing on that top side. We're on one to go. Okay, we're actually going to be on the bottom. It looks like the three car of Brayson was the one that was sideways there as he leaves. I saw him in pit road. That's super unfortunate for him. Don't know exactly what happened. We'll have to go back in the replays and see what happened after the race. But this race has become very top dominant. Like, it's just Eldora. That's how it happens a lot of the time. But we'll do our best starting on the bottom here. Try to not get too sideways. Be careful on throttle. Hopefully my frames don't freak out too much. Oh, they're checking up a little bit. Couple guys almost getting into each other there. Trying to keep it way low for the start there. Try to find any grip that we can. That was close to the inside wall. It's definitely faster higher up. But I'm trying to follow these guys, seeing if we can make anything happen down here. But it ain't working out too well for us. Probably too much on throttle there. Try to find some grip in the middle here. Like Caleb up there got up to like third run in the bottom pretty well. Hoping some people will get together or get the wall and it'll create a gap for me to get up in. Because the bottom is not the way to go. I think we're three wide. No, or this guy just wants to run below the slick. I don't know. Oh, we got a gap now. Okay, cool. I think that puts us up in 10th. As soon as I go to the top side, the frames freak out. What the hell? My frames are so weird up top. Like, on the bottom, they were just fine. I don't understand. Oh, I got the wall a little bit on the front. Luckily, did not get it in the corner. Usually, when I get it on the on the straightaway, I really mess up the corner badly. Hey, but hey, we're in ninth. Let's go. Let's see if we can get to his outside. That was a good three and four there. Let's see if we can try to keep it out here, though. Seems like three and four is where we're a little quicker in. Don't 
Don't know if he was expecting me to throw a complete slider there or not. I will there. Try to catch that grip off turn four. Oh, I got the wall. Dang it. Is he going to slide up off a of two? He does, but that was a good one and two by him. Oh, he got the wall a little. Maybe a little bit of prediction code. Oh, I followed him into the wall there. I was literally just in his tracks and we both nailed the wall. Probably both got a 2x from it. Seventeen is running us tight. Good racing. Oh, I thought the seventeen was sliding up. I was trying to cross him down, but he did not. Seventeen is running very smooth. Nineteen on the side of his car. Oh, they almost get together. He might run the 14 up in the wall, potentially. Oh, he does a little bit. We're going to take advantage of that. Get by him. Unmute everybody. See if they're yelling at each other yet. Oh, God. I got loose there. Oh, the 14's diving it in on him. Oh, we missed him. Oh, we missed him. That was close. 14 dove it in on the 17 there and got the side of him spun himself out but that will put us in eighth i believe because he was or no he was 10th i think so at the line last time so that would put us still in ninth yeah he was uh 10th so that's all right open, we're doing open. all right did logan get ahead of us oh yeah logan's oh, up the so third Good job, man. are you talking to me you're, you're good Herbert. were you talking to me i'm not the one that slid up into you but that was a good that was a good There's race. There's a blue tin car, bro. I'm not stupid. I I didn't throw that slider in turn one. That was the 14, my guy. The road is closed. <laughs> yeah, that was me. I thought you were up high in the high line. Yeah, I don't know. He's trying to blame bit. me for it. I didn't get into him. We were having some tight racing. <laughs> we were having some good racing there. So I don't know why he's mad at me. Let me know when it's under. We're going to be on the inside for this restart. It didn't work out very well last time for I'm us on the inside. Side, uh, all right, so we're going to have to come around the thing. It's not bad at all. Looks pretty smooth. I don't see any crinkling on the left rear. We're all good. I, I got 4x just from that one hit. A 4x? Oh, we're four on the outside? Three. Okay. Outside Somebody yeah, pitted, maybe? Usually you get a 2x from, uh, like, a car or the wall on dirt. Oh, they're checking up a little bit more than I was expecting. They didn't want to run into the back of, uh, oh, Jesus. They, like, speed up, slow down. Speed up, slow down. I hate the games that people play up here. And they're going. Oh, jeez. I definitely got into the back of that person a little bit and checked up a little so we didn't just spit them out that was an awful turn one about as bad as it could be besides getting up in the wall speaking of getting up in the wall i hate restarts it gets me such out of so much out of a groove that we were just in we just need to focus back up and run the way we were because we are running so tight with people right now Because we've been doing pretty decent this race. I've had a few times where I've really screwed up like my throttle control and stuff like that. Gotten sideways or too much up in the wall. We can keep this outside rolling though. We should get a top eight it seems because this yellow car on our inside. We have so much momentum on him on the top side. Especially through three and four if I hit it right. Okay, we got clear of him. Let's see if we can try to catch the pack up front. Because we're running pretty decent. I need to know when the blink, because that was not the time. Really messed up three and four blinking. You have to concentrate so damn much, like, you have to time your blinking out with not messing up on the track. But it's just so top dominant, it's crazy. 
As long as we don't get in the wall too bad, I think we could get a top eight here, which would be pretty good for us, I feel like. We have a decent gap behind us as well. Some guys are running top, some guys are running like the middle, the bottom. The top's just the way to go is you, if you could run it correctly. It's just so difficult and my frames are not liking it at all. Like, I don't know if it looks a little framey to you guys or not. Like, my frames are fine. It's like, they're at 80. Like, they're basically sticking at about 80. But I don't have them capped or anything, so they might be, like, jumping around slightly. Oh, I'm in the wall. Guy behind me is absolutely flying up on us. That's Tucker Elkins. That makes sense. He's really fast. He's number two car. a good one and two there slide up here in three and four shit maybe i just need to run that crossover line more that seemed to work pretty well for us if i run it correctly he's gonna throw another cross uh slider on us for sure oh i got the wall though that didn't help all right he's gonna get away We'll go super low, try to slide up nice and easy to where we don't smash the wall. Too much throttle there, trying to cross over. My frame's freaked out too. We'll just stick down here, try to get the little bit of marbles that is in the slick there. So ninth place still, that's not bad. I'm okay with ninth, honestly. We just got to hold on to it now. Ooh, Elkins is up in the wall. I'm gonna try to go load in case like he stayed in it. We got one lap left. Okay. I didn't realize we we're that close to the end here. Might have uh, tried to hold off Elkins a little harder if uh, I knew we were getting that close to the end, but. Hey, I will take ninth though. I am happy with that. That was a tough race. Good race, Cam. The 17 car ran really well, got up to seventh there. Who got the win? I think it was Hauser. Hauser super quick. Dang, Logan got up to freaking second there. Got ahead of JD. Good job on him. Great running though, that was a lot of fun. Super tough racing though, right along the top like that. Like the last few laps when Tucker got to us, he was flying on the outside, man. Like just getting right on that edge a lot better than I was. I was sliding down a little bit too right there by accident, but we're having a fun race, having a really fun race, having to work our way through the field a little bit. Ran the top decent in three and four. That little cut down he did in three and four was really nice. Throw was a slider on us, I nailed the wall. But able to have a decent crossover there. This wasn't the first slider that we threw though. Dang, where was that? It definitely was this lap. We had a much smoother crossover right here. Had a lot of speed on Elkins. Went, basically went flying by him on the flat back stretch, but that was a lot of fun. We were having some good racing. Let's go see some of the incidents and wrecks that happened through the race, because uh, there was quite a bit of them, it seemed like. Hopefully, there's not just a whole bunch of uh, wall hits. This is right off the start. Somebody was in the wall. The very back, everybody accordions up really hard. It's hard to miss a, a wreck like that, but luckily nobody went around right off the start there. Some wall hits. I know Logan ended up... Did he end up in the wreck? I don't know. These guys are so tight together. I, this is right behind me. I'm th right there on the inside, sliding up right there. They're three wide with Logan and... I don't know who was the one under them, but they were just super tight three wide. No, nothing... Like, the bottom car needed to be lower for that to avoid that, but it was lap two. They're trying to push the issue, get as many spots as they could out of the thing. Logan taps the wall a little bit on the restart. 19 and the 16 get together a little bit. Just a little side hit. I get the wall a good bit. I was screwed up so much right here because my frames were freaking the hell out. How many X's did I end up with in this race? I had a 6X. I had the most besides the 8X uh, from the 16 Spencer. I, had, I hit the wall way too many times though. It was a rough race for us. Ooh, they get together a little bit. Luckily, it didn't spin him out there. Elkins definitely ended up behind us somehow. I don't know how he did, but he did. Logan trying to cross down. Just barely got clipped in the left rear. 
46 going to go up and hit that wall just barely. Maybe a little bit of net coat on it, but it's the fast way. That's not the fast way. That's nailing the wall. That's what I do. I destroy that damn thing. Logan right up there on it. Ooh, gets it pretty hard there. Really messed up the right rear. Came down on the car underneath them. Nowhere the 13 could really go there. I think I was just a little bit behind all this or something. I don't quite remember. This is pretty early in the race still. But this track got so worn out, it's crazy. They destroyed the wall there. Logan's ripping that outside. He got all the way up to second, though. Great rebound for him after wrecking at the end of his heat race and having to go through the consolation race. Absolutely crazy. He destroyed the wall. They get together. I think I was right behind that when they started hitting each other. I was ripping the top of this early. Damn. Lap 7 already ripping the wall. It was a lot of fun, though. I'm trying to get better at it because going right up there on that wall is super difficult. But I'm not the best at it by any means. But there's so much dust, too. Oh, jeez. Everybody's freaking out on my screen. That is not good. That, at least it's not in the race at this point. They almost wrecked right there the what 222 in the one 33 is going to get in the wall hauser is out front and probably going to tap the wall a slight bit i think this was just in front of me he's going to tap the wall a little bit no harm no foul jd running up here he was in fourth at this point battling with durgan underneath him he tapped the wall got a good speed boost there this was just behind me i'm right up there on that wall jd again looks like he's going to slide up and hit the wall hauser in the wall Elkins, he was in second for a long time, it looks like. He gets in the wall, really messes up that right rear. Oh, geez. Don't know what happened there. Everybody's freaking out on my screen. Like, I don't know why. My connection and everything looks fine, so I don't know. That's really weird. Oh, yeah, this is where... Who got spun out here, though? This was Brayson, I think, the one that started in the lead. How did he even get spun out? Was that from Elkins in the wall and stuff, I think? Elkins in the wall going into the three and just got spun out basically and then I was just coming on by trying to keep the car straight and then get bumped from behind a little bit no harm no foul we didn't destroy the car or anything we didn't get any more damage either which was nice JD gets up the second from a good restart there was there any more actual wrecks for the rest of the race I think there was one more around lap 25 or something damn they were wrecking pretty hard back there I don't think there was a caution for that though Herbert making his way up into the top four, top three there. JD gets the wall pretty hard. Houses car looks perfect still. Like right rear and everything looks good. Tapping it there, but just a little bit of net code because it popped back in place. Everybody else is right rear destroyed basically or bent up a good bit. They're getting up here in what third at this point. Getting in the wall pretty hard. Oh, Logan got in the back of him. Really got into him. Damn. But he got slowed up from that wall really hard. Oh, is it broken now? Okay, no, it, it switched people. Never mind. I thought it was broken on him, but he just keeps tapping the wall, I guess. And that, then it goes to somebody else. <laughs> There's going to be so many wall hits. Oh, yeah, this was what was right in front of me, which the 17 thought it was me, which was funny because it was not at all. <laughs> like, we were having a real tight battle up here for a few laughs between us three. Like, Logan w White, it was. Uh, who was the other one? James Burgess? Burgess? I don't know. But uh, I throw a slider on him because he got up in the wall. Then he goes down and gets a big run on me. But then, like, throws a Hail Mary super deep and up into the 17, spun himself out. So, luckily, we barely missed that. Holy crap. Like, that's about as close as it could get. We didn't get a contact for it. I think we did hit his front end, straighten him back out a decent bit. But that was terrifying. He thought that wreck was me, but it was not. Hopefully he went back and saw it wasn't at least because the 14 did say it was him as well, but he really thought it was me. <laughs> our, our colors are very similar to be fair. They really were. I know Logan got up the second somehow over JD. I want to see how he got by him though. Where did he finally get by him? Lap 37 here. He's running top, getting a good crossover. A lot of speed down this backstretch. Jeez. Throwing a little slider up to the top, getting up right on that wall. I don't know how his front end did not come around there, but actually cleared him and started driving away a little bit. Got up to like four tenths away. That was crazy. But hey, we ended up finishing, what was it, ninth? I'll take that. We should gain a little bit of I rating too, being car 10. Let's go see what we end up getting out of this. All right, results are in. We lost a little bit of safety, but that's all right. We're over 4.0 anyways, but uh, we all, we did gain 11. We're so close to 4K. I'm hoping in the pro race later this week or in the UMPs, 
maybe we can hit that 4k once again that'd be really nice was a single split 3700 not a bad uh strength of field for a single split honestly thought it was going to be a little lower to be fair but um would have been nice to beat tucker there i didn't realize that he ended up in the back i don't even know how he ended up in the back still i'm very confused i don't know how he ended up back there he must have like spun out or went and got damage fixed something like that i'm not 100 percent sure but ran a decent race uh i need to figure out something with my computer so it doesn't get so framey on me and those uh packs and stuff because so much dust flying up really uh is messing with my computer for some reason i knew or i need to upgrade it one or the other or both but hopefully you guys enjoyed that race that was a ton of fun uh, i like trying to rip the wall and stuff i'm not very good at it i'm trying to get better at it i felt like we were getting good at it in the middle of the race until that caution came out with the uh, 17 and 14 right in front of us but uh we ran pretty well got some spots from where we started we started 11th got up to like eighth at one point we did fall back pretty far uh in the beginning as well so able to make some passes which was really nice on that outside it was a lot of fun so definitely and getting some improvement in and uh trying to get better as we go especially running a bunch of different cars and stuff like the umps and the pros trying to get better on everything that we're running so Appreciate you guys watching as always. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in the next one.